Today, the global warming is one of the biggest problems of our future. By manufacturing clothes, objects, by taking the plane, driving our cars, a lot of CO2 is produced. CO2 is a gas that warms up the atmosphere and leads to many global warming problems. The consequences are very serious. The ice in the North Pole started to melt, animals such as polar bears start to disappear, and the temperature in the atmospheres are going higher. To solve those problems, many leaders from different countries gather together to try to find a solution. The Paris Agreement, also known as COP21, is an international treaty on climate change. Its goal is to limit global warming to well below 2 degrees Celsius compared to pre-industrial levels. The Paris Agreement took place in Paris in 2015. 195 representatives of different countries joined this treaty. This treaty has many goals. The main one is to reduce the global warming well below 2 degrees Celsius. A world system of control of the CO2 emission was established in each country. The richer countries give money to the poorer ones to fund the economical projects. One of these Paris Agreement goals was also the increase to use of renewable energy and to decrease the use of fossil energies. 195 countries gathered together, including 40 countries from Africa, 13 from Central America, 3 from North America, and all the countries taking part of the European Union. The representatives of all countries took part of the conference that took place in Paris. Almost every country of the world chose to participate, however, there are some exceptions. All the countries that were present in Paris at that time signed the Paris Agreement. Some countries such as China, Brazil and the USA ratified it. The European Union made a commitment to decrease the CO2 emission of 40% until 2030. The United States of America decided to reduce their CO2 emission of 26% until 2025. India is also trying to reduce its carbon intensity of 35% until 2030. So basically everyone is trying its best to protect our planet. But how can we as students help to fight against the global warming? To reduce our CO2 emissions, we can try our best not to take the car to move around. Instead, we can walk, ride our bike or even take the bus. You can take it as a small challenge. These days, vintage clothes are trendy. What a great coincidence! We can go to thrift shops to buy our clothes. There is no need to go to our regular stores. So what are you waiting for? Help us save the world.